Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and welcome to the launch pad where we have today a, another one of our like failed canceled project thingies that was kind of ridiculous but pretty cool. Uh, today is the X-33 Venture Star by Lockheed and we can get the thing powered up and into the air. We have four Kerbals on today. We have the, the, the awesome ones. We have Jeb, Bill, Bob, and Val. All the orange suits are on today as we are going to be heading on up to orbit. If you don't know what the X-33 was, it is one of the only real-life SSTOs that was ever designed and actually got quite far in the development process. Um, the other notable one really is only the Skylon, really, and that, that thing didn't get nearly as far as this one did. Uh, the X-33 was built by Lockheed and it uh, was pitched as kind of like a replacement to the space shuttle, something along those lines. Uh, where it basically is a, like a plane that flies up into orbit and deploys payloads and does crap like that. And uh, right now it feels like it didn't want um, uh, to climb out belly or uh, climb out the way it did. So it did a little bit of a barrel roll just for the fun of it. Uh, so yeah, we are firing our uh, engines. This thing has pretty crazy acceleration. We get into orbit and like, like you know, like that. So, uh, yeah, not a very long ride up to orbit, and I'll talk a little more about some of the specs of this aircraft and some of the, uh, some of the cool history about it, because that's, I mean, it's like 20 years old, so I don't know if that's, like, history or anything, but I mean, it was the early 2000s, last late 90s, so, uh, either way, we are now getting into orbit, and I'm not talking about what we are going to be doing with this vehicle. Um, so what we are going to do is, if you notice our Delta V right now, we don't have a whole lot left. Um, granted, this is an SSTO, so, you know, it, it's hard to get a lot of fuel in orbit, uh, and realistically, this thing would ha just be able to deliver stuff to, to low Earth orbit, but um, and we have KSP. So what, what we are going to do is we are going to get ourselves, obviously, a maneuver node plan and get ourselves circularized. Uh, when that's done, we'll have just under a thousand meters a second of delta V, and that's not enough to get anywhere. That's like enough to maybe crash into the Mun or Minmus. Um, maybe not even that much. I mean, you need about 850 to go from LKO to the Mun. So you probably could. But what we are going to do once we finish up our circularization burn and get ourselves into orbit is just kind of wait here for just a second. And then we can... Oh my gosh. Look what this is. What has showed up? Oh my gosh. What is that? It looks like we have a visitor today. I don't know if any of you guys can make out what that mystery visitor is today. Um, I don't know. It looks a little familiar. Um, I don't know if any of you guys recognize what that rocket might be. Um, I certainly have some idea. Well, well I mean, I filmed the video, so obviously I know what it is. Uh, it's a starship. Uh, yeah, starship. So, if you don't know, um, starship has the ability to refuel stuff in orbit. So I said, hey, what a convenient opportunity to bring out my starship. I've never even shown my starship in a video before, and I've been working on this thing for quite a while, kind of off and on. I'm planning on doing some pretty cool videos about it. Hopefully come out uh, by the time we the, the starship hops. I mean, that hop keeps getting delayed, so hey, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have quite a while to work on it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. so it's going to meet us in door, but it's going to do a little bit of refueling. It's going to refuel us so we can go out to um, to the Mun and back. Uh, because why the crap not? I mean, you know, Val, I don't think he's even been to the Mun on this save. I uh, really don't know how the orbital refueling docking ports are really going to work, so I just did that. It really obviously wouldn't extend that far, so I'm like, put, pulling it back and look a little more realistic. But yeah, the Starship is still kind of a work in progress. The belly flop still doesn't work quite right, so that's why I, had, I didn't really include any of the launch stuff. This is kind of a, like a teaser, if you will. You know, of the very, very dark um, stainless steel fairings that KSP has that came out 1.10. Yeah, so a little bit too dark. And I feel like um, I could do a little bit of work on the, the, the top fins. They're, they're the hardest part, really, to get right in the look, uh, in my opinion. And I don't think they're still quite perfect, so I'm going to have to do a little more work on, the, on those front fins. But uh, either way, you'll see the video soon. Um, and here's another episode of Piolet's Stupid Docking. Um, yeah, I mean, I only got a dock, and, uh, yeah, this thing, oh my gosh, the Kraken attacks. You'll see in just a second here, as we come together, and docked, and wiggling, wiggling, even more wiggling, that's why we don't use robotic parts in KSP, look at all of that wiggling, oh my gosh, that is like one of the most crackeny. <laughs> I'm just extending the thing to try and get the thing as far away from the starship as possible so there isn't any sort of like exploding. Spoiler alert, there is exploding, so we just wiggle ourselves forever, just keep wiggling and then eventually the 
there is more wiggling. This is kind of anticlimactic because I've said eventually and nothing is happening. There's just a lot of wiggling and explosion. Eh, let's try that again. Oh crap, another explosion. Let's, uh, let's just keep reloading that crap. I don't know why I keep doing this. It just, it just keeps exploding. I guess maybe I think eventually something and yeah, no, it just, it just keeps exploding. So, uh, yeah, the problem with that is I didn't lock the piston before I, and yeah, this time it's just freaking out. Like, look at the G meter. It's just, it is complete. It's like a crack and drive. It is just completely dead. Uh, but yeah, so basically the problem was, is I locked the, I didn't lock the piston, uh, before connecting the two. So that's, that's what I would have had to do. So what I, what I ended up doing is I just, I just, uh, I just, we did an off screen refueling. That's what we'll call it. Uh, yeah, so, but basically we have the fuel, I calculated out the amount of fuel that Starship would have given us, and we are, we are, you know, we are technically refueled, so, assume everything went to plan, and we are now ready to head out to the Mun and do our trans-lunar injection burn, and we have enough Delta V to obviously get there and back, that's gonna be the plan, plant a flag, and do all that fun stuff, um, while we're heading out there, um, so exciting thing happened. So if you don't know, but a few days ago they will get monetized. So thank you guys, all the everyone for me the watch hours and the subs. You know, the red button below. Uh, if you want to, obviously you don't have to. I, mean, I don't really want to push. Want to push anyone? But yeah, basically, I've been really excited to see how much money I make. Not, well, I mean, I would say I like money. I mean, who doesn't like money? But I'm, I've really, yeah. I'm sure everyone has wondered how much YouTubers make, and I've wondered that too. I've wondered that a lot. So I'm like, well, I mean, now I'll be able to see it out, and then I could just calculate my my uh, my money, and then just extrapolate over like how many how many how much money I get for a million views, for ten million views, hundred million view videos. Um, yeah. So interesting results to tell you guys in just one second. Got to increase the viewer attention. No, not really. Just I'm getting to an interesting part of the flight, and I don't really want to talk over that with my rambling nonsense, but. Yeah, we are now doing our landing, we're doing the, we're just coming in on like a, a crash trajectory into the MUN because why not? This is Kerbal Space Program, this is a Kerbal Efficient Program. Who, even they're space frogs, I mean, who, who said we have to fly these efficiently? Uh, so we are coming down now, just doing everything in one big suicide burn, because why the crap not? Coming down now, just over the surface of the MUN. Coming down a little bit slower now, throttling down and coming out with the landing gear solar panels are not retracted because i am very stupid coming down coming down nice and slowly now we have to hit with the wheels first because if we hit with the the biggest tail fin then it falls off because it cannot take any impact tolerance so i kind of have to like flip it forward just over the surface and here we go a oh, little bit of oh yeah eh who needs that solar panel yeah, that was a little bit of a Ryanair landing right there, but eh, who cares? Uh, we're just gonna, we're also kind of like flopped onto the other, onto the fins, so we're gonna have to, uh, or the wing, I don't know, the wing, fin, same difference. Stabilizer, I mean, a lot of names for that kind of thing. So yeah, basically I just had to retract the gear and, and uh, yeah. yeah, retract the gear and then untrack, deploy, that'd be the one. Um, just so we can get ourselves, um, Get ourselves landed, and here's our our crew module. This is this is in the payload bay. This is where we normally would put payloads and stuff, but I decided to put myself a crew module because why the crap not? So now we're gonna just gonna have a look. Look at the Kerbals. They were laying sideways. That seemed very comfortable. That'd have been kind of weird on launch with them. Like kind of, they probably would have broken their necks. Although the maze Kerbals aren't like in a permanent ne neck broken state because look how big their heads are. Uh, but we're gonna EVA Bob, who's just gonna fly out, plant a flag, and definitely not cro cause another crack and attack here in a second so uh yeah here comes a bob i forgot to get my right flag in so i'd have to do the default kerbal flag um that's kind of lame but i really didn't want to I, I couldn't be bothered so yeah now he's gonna go back to his craft and we can't ready to uh, come back to a kerbin and and here comes bob he's gonna there's the little door here's the door and I stupidly hit climb instead of board, and then I accidentally get Bob slightly stuck right here. That, um, is honestly the least of Bob's worries here in a second. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and close up that cargo bay, and then we can get ready to take off. And you can see Bob is just ever so slightly stuck in the cargo bay. Oh my god, this mission was a disaster. <laughs> so, we're firing up the engines now. 
Uh, just using a little bit of that tiny little hill run as a little bit of a ramp to try and get ourselves off of the surface of the MUN, kind of throttling up the engines to... When we're th there they go, throttling up, and we are now in the air. And because of the acceleration, we can get into orbit like basically instantly. So yeah, so once we, as we do our, as we coast up to WAP WAPs, I try and open up the, the door to try and get Bob unstuck, but he is like very stuck in that door. So I try to time warp him through the door, and that has um, strange consequences. Bob is, uh, I think, I think I may have killed Bob. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, th I think Bob is dead. <laughs> um, that is honestly one of the weirdest things I've ever seen a cripple do. Um, this, this looks slightly weird. He's, he's dead. Slightly morbid, isn't it? Um, and then uh, that happens. I go into time warp, and then I come on a time warp, and he gets, like, ejected. Like, he gets a thousand meters a second in Delta V. He gets, like, completely flipped around, and he flies backwards back towards the Mun. So, yeah. I made this save because I had the intention of A, having less space debris, and B, not killing Jeb, because I kept killing Jeb. And, um, well, I guess I haven't killed Jeb. I'm about to kill Bob. <laughs> so I guess mission accomplished. Yeah. And. So what was I talking about? Right, YouTubers, money. So um, basically, I did the math. And um, I made, well, um, I, I make about two, two bucks fifteen per thousand views. Um, that's on the one video. It's the X, SRBX video that I have um, data on. You can check it out, card, right? Promotion. Um, that's the only video I have data on. And yeah, that's, I assume that's kind of average. Maybe like five to 10% above average from some of the stuff I've looked at. Um, so yeah. Um, so I figured that out to be about two thousand dollars, obviously, which is multiplied about twenty-one hundred bucks per million views. And then if you do, if you think about someone like a Mr. Beast who's getting twenty million views at a minimum, uh, he's getting into the math. He's getting forty thousand dollars for each of those videos, assuming similar statistics to me. And obviously, that doesn't include tax, and you know, but you know, he also has merch stuff and sponsorships, so you make it in you quite a quite a quite a bit of quite a bit of cash so yeah i think that's very interesting so if you ever want to know how much youtube ranks that's your answer um but uh, we're coming into land now i figured you guys want to know a little bit about the plane um the big elephant in the room if you know about this aircraft is uh i used uh vectors on the back of it instead of aerospikes the real thing is powered by two linear aerospikes I'll include some sources in the description uh, so you can check it out. But uh, here are coming in to land, and this landing goes about as well as you would expect. Um, just why, why would you expect it to go right the first time? Obviously not. So we're going to come in now. We have to fire the engines a little bit on landing because the control authority, because the wings are kind of tilted, it's all screwed up, so we don't have really any authority. So I have to kind of have a little bit of thrust in as we land, and yeah, the wings fall off. So I have to reload my quick save, and the wing also falls off. So fortunately, I did have to ch use unbreakable joints when I reloaded the quick save, and then I turn them off right there quickly, and then we can just do the landing. Um, we'll try again. So yeah, um, the real one does use aeros a linear, two linear aero spikes, uh, but unfortunately the aero spikes in KSP have a thrust rate ratio that is way, 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 way too low. So this thing just would not have been able to fly. So yeah, unrealistic, but hey, what are you gonna do? Sue me? <laughs> I don't know. We are coming into land, coming into land, and oh, that was a nice landing. Too bad we bounced, but uh, yeah, there we go. Coming in, and that time it worked. I was really afraid we were gonna tip over, but I just didn't put the brakes on. And uh, then I do put the brakes on as we kind of fly through that tree because if you put the brakes on as it's kind of doing that little spinny bit, it will completely spin out and die. Uh, yeah, so um, that's the end of the video. I'll put some cards up. I can't really link, I would link my Discord, but it, YouTube doesn't like Discord links apparently. But so I'll put that in the description if you want to join my Discord. Pretty epic Discord. But that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Please share the video once again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.